Okay, so recently I got some data that was in a number of PDF documents and I really needed it to just be in plain text and ideally just one large plain text file. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you how to convert PDF documents into plain text. So as you can see, I've just got a couple of PDF documents on my desktop here. Um, I'm just going to open one and as you can see, there's just some class C IP addresses in there. Um, I just mocked these up just to show you how to do this. Now what I could do is I could just use control A to copy all of the lines of data in here and then copy that out into a plain text file but I had a couple of hundred of them to, to work with so that would have taken forever to do and there's a much faster way of doing it so I'm just going to show you how to do that now. Now the command line utility that I used was PDF to text so PDF to text. Um, if you don't have that installed already um, you can get it by installing a package called let me just type in for you so sudo apt dash get install uh, poplar dash utils and it will install a couple of other command line utilities but pdf to text is there so I'm just going to change directory over to my desktop and we're just going to run that command so pdf to text and we're going to run it on file1.pdf and as you can see it's generated a plain text file with the same name so I'm just going to open that up in genie so genie file1.txt there we go okay so if I just go to view and then editor um, we're just going to show line endings so we can see that there's some line feeds here at the end of every line and we're getting this form feed so that's line feed and then a form feed now the reason why that's happening is because PDF documents are paginated so there are multiple pages within a PDF document um, we can easily get rid of that using PDF to text so I'm just going to show you how to do that now um, if we just type in PDF so same command as before PDF to text but we're going to use an option which is no page break so N O P G B R K and that will get rid of that for us but I also like to throw in the dash end of line option and use Unix just in case the PDF document had maybe Windows line endings or something like that um, which I believe are a carriage return followed by a line feed. Um, this just makes it just one single line feed. So if we hit enter on that and let's just open that file again. It should have gotten rid of the form feed for us. So let's have a look. Yep, no form feed. But there is that single line feed here. Now all that will do is just generate a blank line within the text file and for what I needed it for didn't really cause me a problem so I just left them in there but you can remove those if you want. Now as I said earlier I had a number of PDF documents to deal with so you might be thinking that you could just use a wildcard on this command so instead of file1.pdf let's do every PDF document within our current directory. Um, let's hit enter and see what happens with that. Now as you can see file2.pdf's icon has changed and if we try and open that we're getting some issues. This is quite a common thing to happen. Um, you can avoid this. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do it with multiple files. So I'm just going to cd over to this directory on my desktop which is pdf-docs and I'm just going to clear the screen and ls so you can see there's a number of PDF documents within this directory and what we're going to do is we're just going to use a simple for loop just to loop over all of the PDF documents within this file and just get PDF to text to run them so all we have to do is just type in so for a file in uh, any.pdf 
and just close that off with a semicolon space and then do and the commands we want to do to do PDF to text and let's throw in our options so dash no page break and dash EOL uh, Unix and we need to give that a file name so if you just type in a couple of quote marks or speech marks and we're going to use the dollar sign so dollar file so it's going to take this file name here and we're going to close that off with a semicolon and then a space and then just type done and what that's going to do is it's going to loop over all of the .pdf files within your current directory and convert them to .txt files so if we just hit enter now and wait a few seconds because there's quite these are quite large PDF files. Um, it's done. So if we hit ls now, you'll notice that there are a number of new text files within this directory. So let me just cat one of those out. So cat file three dot text, and let me just pipe that into less. There we go. Plain text. Now, as I said earlier, I needed these in one single large text file. So an easy way to do that is just to cat all of the .txt files and just append them into a new file. So let's just call it new.txt and hit enter. And let's just do a word count. So word count dash line. So we'll do a line count of this new text file. So new.txt and it's almost half a million, well, 450,000 ish lines within this text file. So if we just, let's just cat that out anyway and pipe that into less. There you go, plain text. So that's a pretty simple way of converting PDF documents into plain text. If you just have a look at the man pages for PDF to text, um, you'll find that you can do a whole load of extra stuff with it. So um, you can do stuff like converting only a certain number of pages or specific XY coordinate like crop areas within a PDF document. Um, you can also do stuff like if your PDF document is password protected, it will deal with that as well and plenty of other stuff. So I recommend you take a look at that if you need to do anything else but that's basically how I just convert PDF documents into plain text. So um, I hope you found that useful and um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.